Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the Grace Rain Podcast. My name is Gannon. It's a pleasure to have you here. But uh, I want to talk to you about the Great Reset and other strange happenings, strange news going on because it's important. Grace Rain Podcast at gmail.com. Grace Rain Podcast at gmail.com. It's a growing podcast. Lots of great stuff going on there. But hey, look, we're, we're going to go into the Great Reset. Most, of, most especially, we're going to talk about the Great Reset what the truth is behind that, what it really means for us as Bible-believing Christians. For the rest of the world, it's whatever it is. But, you know, here, uh, let, let's talk about the, the the big cow in the room, and that is uh, Donald Trump and his acquittal in the Senate. Okay, look, you know, I don't think anyone's surprised that Trump was acquitted in the Senate. It was a sham impeachment nonsense thing, and, you know, it's never happened before where, where we're looking at this uh, uh, a second impeachment. And also... An acquittal, two acquittals. Uh, so that's always fun for all the kids, right? Let's take a look at this from a closer standpoint. So former President Trump was acquitted on the charges of inciting ins- insurrection. Um, Trump is the only president to be impeached and acquitted twice in the history of America. 57 senators voted to convict Trump on Saturday, but 67 votes were required. So that's that two-thirds majority situation. So look. Hey, you know, they lost. And it was pretty wild because it's pretty wild because they went berserk. Uh they went berserk about it in the in uh Nancy Pelosi uh just tripping. And so I think I think this means that Trump is going to get to run again if he wanted to. Can you imagine that? Uh and this kind of and I have this idea, I have this thought in my head where and you know, where the uh the enemy was seemingly you know, bruised or taken down, and then he came back um, in Revelation and, and these other places in the scriptures and stuff like this. So what are you saying, Gannon? What, you know, it just seems like like this is looks like that on a spiritual standpoint. Not that I think he's the Antichrist, but let me be clear. Let me be really good and clear. Trump said in the summer of 2016 that he had never asked God for forgiveness, or 15. And so, look, you know, it's important for us to pray for him, pray for his direction, pray that he has, he comes to the knowledge, the true knowledge of the gospel of Christ. But look, um, you know, the the impeachment uh, scam is what it was, a scam, allows Trump to run again for office in 2024. Now, look, by that time, he's going to be, what, in his 80s? And so that might be an interesting situation for us. But um but look, Trump is acquitted by the Senate on incitement of insurrection in landmark impeachment trial this from CBN News. So the seven senators who voted with all the Democrats uh in finding Trump guilty includes Richard Burr, Bill Cassidy, Susan Collins, Lisa Mur- Mur- Murkowski, uh Mitt Romney, and of course, Pat Toomey, sure, and Ben Sasse. And so in a statement released by Trump, the former president thanked his legal team, who, by the way, were a legal team of Epstein and the rapist, serial rapist of uh, Bill Cosby. So it's not like he had a a well-to-do team, folks. Okay, so let's move. Let's move forward. So uh, in this statement, he uh, thanked his legal team for their dedication to the case and the American people for their steadfast support throughout the proceedings. He said, quote, I want to first thank my team of dedicated lawyers and others for their tireless work upholding justice. And it was an interesting, it was an interesting debate on, 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 the, on the Senate floor. Uh, his team presented a, gr- a really good case because there was no case. A monkey could have won that, that, that uh, impeachment sham. It was, there wasn't a case. It was a political witch hunt trash heap and the people the american people were who who was on trial but i'll tell you if trump would have been convicted of this this would have convicted the american people and given leverage and leeway to the folks at msnbc all these to come and attack hardcore folks hardcore and particularly as we as this boils down right it's not about trump it's about the american people destroying trump supporters right or at least those who consider it a sort of conspiracy around the election uh, situation, the, the legal uh, issue around the election in November. So 
let's let's move on here, right? So he says, my deepest thanks as well to all the United States senators and members of Congress who stood proudly uh, for the Constitution. We all uh, revere and and uh, for the sacred legal principles uh, at the heart of our country. Hey, that's not what's wrong with that. He said this. A cherished constitutional republic was founded on the impartial rule of law, the indispensable safeguard for our liberties, our rights, and our freedoms. Now, I want to tell you something. That is a very false statement. The Constitution, and I I mean, let me say this, why that's not correct. He is saying that our cherished Constitution of this United States is is a sort of impartial rule of law, the indispensable safeguard. So the Constitution of the United States is the safeguard for our liberties and rights and our freedoms. What then if we should get rid of the Constitution? What safeguard do we have then? What liberties and rights and, con- and freedoms then do we have if we get rid of this situation they're calling unconstitutional? Right? You, you've heard it. House Democrats, it's, 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 it's racist all of a sudden. It's racist. Here's a, here's, let me tell you something. The Constitution is not what gives us our rights because within the Constitution it says th- th- these rights are endowed by our Creator. So as opposed to worshiping the Creator who's given us um, these unalienable rights, these, this it, it in, ingrained in our system, a freedom, a desire, a great desire for freedom to speak what, my mind, your mind. This is not true. And I want you to understand this is important for us to be vigilant in knowing that as believers. The Constitution doesn't give us rights. The Constitution lays down what they can't take away from us, our inalienable rights. So it is not, it is, the Constitution is no more safeguard for the rights ingrained in us by Almighty God than my garage is a safe haven for my cars. Okay. No, it's not. So what then if the, if we're, it's broken into whatever, burnt down and the windy, whatever, you know, so BLM, I tell you, the Constitution is great and we're happy about it. I served in the U.S. Air Force and, you know, we take an oath and all this stuff. But it is not the indispensable safeguard. Why? Because it doesn't dispense safeguards for our liberties or our rights or our freedoms, for this matter. It is a sad commentary uh, that the president of the United States would say this kind of thing and fathom, he's brainwashing himself, really, would fathom that it's the, you know, it is the safeguard. It is the, it is the principal safeguard of our rights. No, it's not. God is, because even our own founding fathers said this was the case. This is why they're unalienable. This is why we can't touch them. So let's put them down on paper so the folks know that these things come not from man, not from Davos, Switzerland, or, or Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, or all these things. So that's what we're talking about today, folks, is the Great Reset. The Great Reset uh, is, is, is what, I wanna, what we want to talk about today. Because it's important for us to be mindful of the direction in which we're going here. Um, uh, this, this idea of bringing back the country or the world uh, out of, out of, um, of um, crisis. But something you should know about crisis is uh, you never let a good crisis go to waste. So here comes the Great Reset. The crisis. It is a crisis. The C, the crown virus has become a total crisis on the earth, manufactured or not. And I think, and I totally think it was uh, a manufactured disease, um, wherein the entire world global forum uh, of, of wicked leadership are behind this issue. And you go, well, how, how can you be so sure um, that the, uh, 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 the whole world is behind this kind of thing? Take a look at this. It's a very pertinent question to ask, how do we build back better? To build back better or whatever. We have a chance to reset the clock and build back better than before. To build back better than before. Remember the the terrible damage of COVID as we try to build back from this uh, global pandemic. Joe Biden calls it build back better. Build back better. Building back better 
to do things differently, to build back better. We're going to build it back better. And build it back better. Is my plan to build back better? Uh, start taking all the problems that have been created in right. education and mental health and start to, to build back in a positive way. I have launched a booklet called Build Back Better, written after coronavirus. It's about building this country back better. <clears throat> Growing conspiracy following it. It is called The Great Reset. An unprecedented opportunity to rethink and reset the ways in which we live. The great opportunity for reset. The theory even calls Mr. Biden's campaign slogan, Build Back Better, a front for the conspiracy. Build back better. Building back better our economy. Build back better. All elements of the Great Reset are fundamental to building the future we need. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. It's a big effort to, some would say, to build back, back better. We would say to really have a great reset. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Conspiracy. So there you go. Uh, it's a conspiracy. And um, I encourage you, and we're going to talk about that too, the strange sounds and stuff, other wild, strange, uh, wild news going on. And so back to the statement from President Trump, look, hey, you know, as long as we as long as we believe the Constitution is the giver of the of of liberties, rights and freedoms, um, that is a sad state of affairs for us because we cherish we 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 cherish um, these liberties and rights and freedoms because particularly they're ingrained in us. They're not they they aren't they aren't they haven't been suppressed you know we're, we, but we have to we have to stand up for our for for ourselves and and make it known that our rights aren't given to us by the constitution give me a break all that is is a all that all that does is lay down what, what is unalienable for us these are you can't touch this because they come from god so look mr president please 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 do not uh, say that the Constitution is the is what is this it, which is is the safeguard of these items here, okay? Because it's not, um, and that's how they end up getting stolen. Because if that's the case, then they'll do away with that. But you can't do away with the King of Kings. You can't do away with God above us, right? The Creator of life, the Creator of heaven and earth. May His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is why they want to build a Tower of Babel. This is why they want to reset. Because that's not fair, they say. Oh, well, we, you know, why does he get to be in charge? Why don't we make a world better uh, in our own image? Let, let, us, let us go to the top echelons of creation and let us remake man in our image. And so let's, let's move on here. The statement continued, I always have and always will be a champion for the unwavering rule of law. The heroes of law enforcement and the rights of uh, Americans to peacefully and honorably debate the issue of the day without malice and without hate. This is so. Um, so there you go. Uh, President Trump has been, uh, you know, acquitted and everybody's happy about that. Right, now, look, if you're like me, you probably suspect there's something strange in here that he was acquitted. You know, how does this happen? You know, when they were just, when they had voted, the Senate had voted unanimously, this was constitutional for them to go and, and uh, attack, you know, dethrone, if you will, deplatform a man who uh, doesn't even, isn't even, wasn't even holding office when he left. So, right? He's not holding office anymore. How can you impeach a pre an unsitting, unseated president? It's impossible, but they still went along, along with it and then ended up acquitting him. So this is a play. We, the life is a stage. And so nobody is surprised by this. And so, um, uh, you know, this is the kind of thing uh, that we need to pay closer attention to. This is Schumer and McConnell delivering Mark's remarks after Trump's acquittal. And I want to I want to show you the hypocrisy of Schumer here, where he's calling, talking about, 
you know, um, uh, they incited violence and terrorism in AOC, and we were dying, I thought I was going to get murdered, and I can't believe they would even try to come after me, and this is violence, and we would never do anything like this. Let's take a listen to this, and then we'll go through his hypocrisy. Of course, you're probably well aware of that, but I just want to play it for you. I just want you to play, I just want to play it for you. Take a listen to this. If instigating a mob against the government is considered permissible, if encouraging political violence becomes the norm, it will be open season, open season on our democracy. He deserves to be convicted, and I believe he will be convicted in the court of public opinion. He deserves to be permanently discredited, and I believe he has been discredited in the eyes of the American people and in the judgment of of history. January 6th will live as a day of infamy. In the yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up, dude. Let's take a listen to wherein he uh, called uh, and threatened um, to hurt, hurt people. Listen to this. What a hypocrite. I want to tell you, Gorsuch. I want to tell you, Kavanaugh. You have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. This is the kind of talk, this is the kind of talk that, you know, this is the kind of talk that he was giving to, um, uh, you know, uh, about Trump. And, and this, this, this was their argument, right? The, this was their argument that, um, that, uh, uh, um, that Trump was inciting violence. Shoot, shoot, man. Are you kidding me? Listen to this. What Trump said was, "Let's go out here and let let's go out here and peacefully pro, uh, show our, uh, you know, whatever, and 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 let him know." He now he used the word peacefully. You hear anything about? You hear any, any, any peaceful talk here? Let's look at this. I mean, for real. You Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. I wonder what's the price. What what's the what's the price? You know, so hypocrisy, hypocrisy, hypocrisy. These people are actors. These people are actors. They're not, uh, they are not uh, your friends. They're not trying to support the Constitution or, if you will, the inalienable rights given by Almighty God for, um, uh, to us, right? So let's, let's just, um, let's move forward from this ugly face here. So this is the kind of thing I'm talking about mob against the government is considered permissible. If encouraging political violence becomes the norm, it will be open season. Tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. So, so there you go. <laughs> It's it's double speak. This is called double speak. This is the George Orwell nineteen eighty four book you were supposed to be reading, but you didn't. So there you go. Isn't this just fun for all the kids? Look, this is madness. Black Lives Matter, peaceful protest, summer of love, nonsense is all part of a greater concept. This greater idea that man, man, human beings are gross. And therefore, they need to be thrown to the to the whatever to the wolves, destroyed, translated into the new fourth industrial revolution, wherein you just die and 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 uh, just get out get out of our face, and then um, uh, work for us and or what what have you. And here's your here's your sustainable uh, development money situation. Oh, and by the way, if you if you disagree with us, if you disagree with our concept of um of uh making a new better greater brighter uh fairer uh development plan then we're going to behead you <gasps> you know we're going to take you down we're going to remove you silence censor and so i want to tell you the censoring thing that's going on here on the internet and all this stuff guys why, what are we what's how are we not getting listen this is poetry. This is a game wherein we move closer and closer to the goal. This is a game of football, right? You know, the censoring is at the 20, 20 line or, uh, you know, whatever mark of the, we almost got a touchdown. The touchdown is this. Now we just take you out. How about that? We, now we just carpet bomb 
churches. Now we just destroy and kill anyone who gets in our way. You go, well, this can never happen. This could never happen. You know, if this, and let me tell you something, if this, if this sort of language is permissible in, uh, in politics, then it will be permissible in policy. And if it's permissible in policy, then it'll be permissible in upholding this policy against people. And particularly after we, bo- now listen, we're boiling it down. That's what the whole frog in the water situation is as well. It's not just about frogs in the water. Listen, there you, only, you can only fit so many in the pot. All right. And so it's not like everybody's getting in or all boiling together. No, no. This is a boiled down, uh, not even an experiment anymore, full blown uh, attack on, on man and on God's holy creation. God's creation, which he gave dominion over the earth. Well, they're bad. Man is bad. And so Bill and Melinda Gates and the World Economic Forum and uh, Klaus Schwab, Klaus Schwab is uh, Klaus Schwab was born in the 1938 in, in Nazi Germany, and this whole socialism uh, youth brigade concept, you know, going at this all you grow up with this kind of stuff. Look, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, and that fruit is rotten. This is the great reset, and it began in 2001. This is when it all began. Now, this kind of thing was, has been growing and swelling for the last hundred years, right? But, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the whole UFO phenomenon and all this stuff. And I look, if you go, up, go over to the uh, channel page there, Grace Rain Podcast, you can watch part one and part two of the UFO disclosure that I, I'm telling you is a giant, enormous hoax, Okay, and I've laid it out. I have, I have found archives and archives of video footage that you're not allowed to see. You're not supposed to see. Um, and I put it together, and by the grace of Almighty God, there it is in The Great Deception, two parts. I didn't want to do them. It's annoying to do these, those kinds of videos because it's just annoying. But there you go. I put the work in. Go and check them out. There are over a 1,000 views apiece. Go and check them out. It doesn't, wait, it's not going to, listen, if you, don't, if you don't put in the work, uh, to just sit there and do what you're already doing. Just watch it. May God be true in every man a liar, including myself. If it were not for the grace of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, what well, I'd be talking out of the side of my neck. So here we are at the Great Reset. Um, it's amazing stuff. Take a listen to the uh, uh, World Economic Forum's um, Great Reset situation. I put it, this is a montage but turns out this is this is actually from the World Economic Forum. I was looking for a montage, and I I just decided, you know, what? why don't I just um, show you this instead? This is there is an urgent need for uh, global stakeholders, global power controllers, to work together to manage the uh, manage the crisis of COVID nineteen. And in a way to improve the state of the world, but the, to to um, to change it, the World Economic Forum is starting the Great Reset. So the World Economic Forum is proclaiming, and they can't say stuff like this, um, but there there are starting uh, are proclaiming we are the start of the Great Reset. We are the beginning of it. Take a listen. Okay, manufacturing crises. You see, this is a storyline. Not it's, this isn't a montage. They're following. We're following a story. We're following a story here. That's what we're showing us. The Great Reset. Did you see did you see that? Did you catch that back here? Our fragility, our fragileness is exposed, manufactured 
exposition, exposition of our fragility. You go, manufactured? Listen, you know, obviously we understand that these different um, uh, uh, points, pain points, since 2001 um, have been manufactured. And, and even as far as the Gulf of Tonka incident, manufactured, manufactured, manufactured. For what purpose? To, sh- to expose, or if you will, a manufactured exposition of our fragilities. Please keep up with me. You're listening to the Grace Reign Podcast. This is a podcast about God's grace reigning, not the Constitution, not the World Economic Forum, not the storyline. But if you can't see through the storyline, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I, you know, I'm sitting over here in the car with my mom yesterday, and she's sitting there with her little got, got her little piece of paper that says she's a good girl and got her got, got her uh, uh, got her um, shots, right? Quote unquote. So. I need people to pay attention. And if they won't, if they won't, then what, what, what can we do? Hey, look, we'll go on. I'll tell you what we do. We'll go on until we're dead. We're dead. Until they come and get us, right? And haul us somewhere and wherever, wherever that be. So this is not conspiracy anymore, folks. This is, a, this is facts. This is what you're looking at. I don't know how else to tell you. This is the music video for the World Economic Forum, except for there isn't any singing. It's it's ambient music. You know, this this... This showing our fragility situation, you know, uh, on on purpose to so you know we're so what do we do with this? What, what do we make of this? Uh, I'll tell you what we make of this. The plan is coming together. Just is 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 doing great for them. Uh, it's coming together nicely. The trash heaps, the dead birds, the strange sounds, UFOs, all this stuff is coming together nicely. And so while everyone is crying out for a king, for help, 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 somebody come help us, uh, here we are. We'll help you. We'll reset it for you. We'll make it better. We'll put it together. We'll, we'll translate man into the new man, and then you won't die, you won't get sick, there won't be any hunger. We'll just, we, 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 we'll rewind every day. We, we, it'll be great. Uh, and everyone has a role to play. See that? Everyone has a role to play. And that, what is, what is the role? Can work with us. Work with us. Work with us to, to further our personal agenda, wherein you're going to be our first casualty. That's what's so funny about this all, this whole thing. The first casualties are the ones who worked with them, not the ones who, not the ones who stood up against this, but those who joined in with them were the first casualties, right? So if you were a part of this whole great impeachment scam, 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 uh, then then you know that the the. Uh, but you don't. But but you know, if you're part of that whole thing and you know it's a scam, and you're you're the first to go. Why? Because you're a traitor, right? The Chinese aren't going to work with traitors, but they'll use them to their best of to, to to whatever they need to do. And then when we're done, look, hey, loyalty is a big thing in China. Okay, CCP. This Asia is all about loyalty and honor. This is dishonor. What the that what they're doing, they know is dishonorable. However, they they don't. I don't think they're picking. I don't think they're picking up what we're putting down here you're going to be used and like we've, we've seen the movies what happens to what happens to the to the uh, to Judas what happened to these people you know, they were excommunicated they were the first to go because we don't work with these kind of folks right so let's move forward you know are you, you're getting where I'm going with this so let's move forward to the great reset um and this propaganda uh where we all should just come together uh, huddle up together and and um, just play games. So there's our friend Joe Biden um, and and Klaus Schwab just loving on each other. What a weird picture! What a strange picture. How close do you need to be to say hello? Hey, I thought we were in the middle of a pandemic. What's going on? They both got their mouths open. Hey, listen, we're, we're you know we're those two are, are are you're in a big trouble, right? You know what about safety? What about social distancing? I always got his arm on him. I thought we were supposed to be wearing gloves and double masks. No, 
you're supposed to wear gloves and double masks. Okay. These people are clean. You're not. Uh, these people are are uh, don't don't need this kind of uh, uh, help. You do. Do you understand what they how they what they think about you? And so um, I don't I don't care if you're Donald Trump. I don't care if you're Joe Biden. I don't care if you're you know got this whole uh, concept of of making life whatever. I, I don't even care. Here's what matters. If you, if, 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 if the folks think that this is just going to just float away and I just get my vaccine and I just get my stuff and I just go along to get along and then everybody will be getting, no, son, people, this is, you give them, you give an inch to take another mile, another mile and another mile, except for this time they're done taking miles. See, that's the thing of the past. At this point, we're taking hundreds of miles leaps. Why? Remember when the Bible said, remember when the God's holy word said that Satan comes to the earth bringing great vengeance and all this anger and all this stuff, but he has a short while, a short period to accomplish what he needs done. Remember when Jesus said to Judas, what you're about to do, go and do it. Here's the key word quickly. You don't have much time, bud. Get on with it. And what do you do? 30 pieces of silver. We're down the street. Jesus is captured and all this stuff. And, but he gave his life as a testimony payment for the, for the, uh, so, you know, and so listen, here we go. Uh, these traitors, these attackers, uh, these fraudulent hoaxed, um, whatever, you know, this is not, they're not on your team. What fellowship hath the light with the darkness? They don't. So what, what, what are we doing here? The, the, the darkness should make you vomit. You wouldn't be in the same room with Jeffrey Epstein, would you? Of course not, because it's nasty and filthy and we don't do that. So what, why, why, so why are we hanging out in the same room with people who want to, you know, great reset, manufactured crisis, all this stuff, you know, playing games, okay? Because we're all in it together, buddy. What would what, you think we were just, you know, no. And so uh, this is how he got out of his impeachment. This is how, this is all a big scam. You're looking at a scam, a scheme, and it's coming together nicely because... You know, it's just hilarious how the folks are going, yeah, we won. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I understand the impeachment was a hoax, but this is also a hoax. Okay? This is also a hoax. And that's also a hoax. Build back better. BBB666. So, you know, we're not, I'm not playing games with this anymore. We got to move forward. Look, this is why we're blowing up the UFO stuff. This is why we're showing it for what it is. A military operation. You got to know this stuff. I put plenty of time. I put plenty, plenty of time uh, in service to this country in the Air Force. Okay, I, I'm a. I came from another country. I lived in an orphanage, and came to the U.S. Buddy, I like this country. Okay, you know. So, but if you love, if you love freedom, you love liberty, you love, you love life, and you, you love humanity, and you, you, you know that we got problems, and that's fine. Resetting man isn't going to make. Is that's not how we do it. Well, you know what we ought to start doing then, you know, since babies are born sometimes with, with uh, malformations and, and, and genetic uh, 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 issues and things, we should, just, we should just legalize abortion. See, here we go. I mean, where, is this, where are we even going with this? It, it is a play. It's insanity. It's madness. It's a suicide cult. A suicide cult. And you're not in it. I hope. Take a listen to this. This is from greatreset.com. Um, I should have back. I should have looked at the Wayback Machine to see what, who, what is, it, how long has this website been? What's going on here? Because that might have been interesting to find out. You know, what if it turns out this thing's been around since two thousand eight, right? Two thousand four. It's like, wow, that's interesting. What are the implications? The implications are obvious, but that's neither here nor there. I digress. Let's take a listen to this. Let's watch this and um, um, admire. Let's admire. We have the power to capture imaginations and influence how the world behaves. But we've used that power without thinking about its effect. 
wow, to see the sheep straight into the mouth of a, of a, of a, you know what I mean? This manufactured stuff here. Put the sheep on the conveyor belt into the mouth of whatever this is. And we're about to find out what this is. Listen, guys, they're telling on themselves. It's okay. It's okay to realize that, by the way. It's okay. You're not, a, you're, it, it's, it's fine to realize that this has been a scam the whole time. Okay? There's nothing sinful about that. In fact, this is what breaks chains. In fact, this should make you just more aware. Listen, last thing you want to do is be falling off the edge of the cliff, be, be free falling off the edge of the, uh, uh, you know, from the cliff and then realize you're falling. Buddy, at that point, it's, you're, it just close your eyes. Here we go. Say your prayers. It's done. So what do, we, what do you prefer? Wait till we come to the edge and just and, and be cast over the edge and be free falling. And then we, oh, wait a minute. We should have done something about it. No. No, no. I'm talking about you, the individual. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you, buddy. You. What will you do about this? Just look at it. Oh, wow. This is, a, this is pitiful. Or, or look at yourself internally. Well, how does this relate to me and my family? You're listening to the Grace Rain podcast, and I want you to, to, to join in on the conversation. Listen, I'm not asking you for subscriptions or likes or any of this stuff. I, in fact, I would be surprised if this, this, this uh, uh, podcast got more likes than it did dislikes. That would be strange to me because the majority of this world is all about this stuff. They're all about this thing. They're so excited about this. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, I'll tell you what. The same hand that's giving you everything that you want is the same hand that's going to choke you out and rip your throat out. You feel me? Watch this. Until we paused and reconsidered what was essential. And for a moment, we only made what the world truly needed. We now have an opportunity to use our influence for society and the planet's best interests. Who? Who's in? Who's influence? Use our influence. What? Who? What influence? What influence? The problem that we have is not globalization. Okay, everybody coming together, walls come down. That's not the problem, right? The problem is a lack of global governance. Remember the beast. Remember the beast revelation, Daniel, Ezekiel, these places, Matthew 24 and the second Thessalonians. All these, remember this guy? Nimrod and the Tower of Babel, the whole world under him, right? And then he just moved the world into this, this government uh, that we're wearing, you know, the, I, the direction and the scope of this thing was really to dethrone the, 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 the governor himself, Big G. Why? Because we can do better. That's the idea. We can do better. I can do, we, hey, I will exalt myself above the clouds. I'll be like God and all this stuff. You know, this is the, the, the madness of these people. It's laughable. It's laughable. And what did it take for the Tower of Babel to be done with? All the years, 100 years or more, building its big tower over a year's worth of time to take a brick from the bottom to the top, right? I want you to think about this spiritually. All this time they put into the building this great reset, all this time. And then God comes to the earth, confuses, confounds the languages, and it's over. It's laughable. It really is laughable. In fact, the Bible says that the beast himself is destroyed. The Antichrist, this guy, he's destroyed with the word of, with the word of the Lord. As soon as he shows up, the sky is rolled up like a scroll. The Lord comes back, right? One word, and he's gone. Wow. There goes your great reset. How's that? Wait, you know, years of trying to do this and it, it's just it's just finicky and foolish. It's laughable. It's ugly. It's perverted. And it's an abomination. What's the problem with letting the God of creation, the creator himself, plant inside of you a, des a great desire for freedom, hope, love, liberty, family, marriage, joy, compassion, real joy, not happiness. We ain't talking about lust. We're talking about love, real legitimate stuff. What's the problem with having him rule your life? Why is that such a bad deal? Hey, you woke up again this morning, bud. Okay? You think Klaus brought you into this? Hey, if he had his way, you wouldn't have woken up this morning. In fact, he's trying. They're doing everything in their power to, uh, uh, to, to bring you to submission. 
They're doing everything in their power to bring you into submission. Lie to you about statistics. Lie to you about your immunity. Lie to you all the stuff to bring you under their, under their uh, threshold here. For a purpose, really, it's really a great purpose to, to, to reinvent reality, to bring the ideas of, of, of rage and hate uh, uh, towards the creator himself through Richard Dawkins, this whole idea, okay? Bring a, a grow, grow this hate in man's heart while they're young, right? This is Marxism. This is Marxism, right? So at the youth brigades of the Nazis, so we're bringing them up as we're young. It's gonna take, it takes time to reset the world because we're resetting the mind. It's a psychology. It's a psychology, right? The UFO phenomenon uh, that we're talking about here. Look at this thing. You know, you're just supposed to lay down and accept the uh, uh, that, you know, these alien beings are showing up on the planet and we should just worship them. This is where this is going with this, okay? You know, this global warming thing and abductions. Turns out it's a military operation and it's not even what you thought it was. God, listen, if you watch this, this will, this will real, make you realize what we're looking at. There's two parts to this thing. And, uh, buddy, uh, I wouldn't want you to see them if I wanted you to, to think something otherwise, right? So let's, let's come back to this. Let's come back to this. Building back better. Building back better requires building blocks. Requires uh, uh, a, a uh, bricks. It requires Nimrod. It requires this Tower of Babel to build back better. Let's not separate. Let's not spread out. Let's not move out where we were supposed to take dominion over the earth. No. You get, you know, you become my slave. You pugnant, repugnant, uh, smelly human being made in the image of Almighty God. And why don't you instead translate yourself into something way cooler, right? And just put this thing in your head and, we'll, you know, it'd be fun for all the kids, right? And so I, I want you to understand that this is, this is not, this is not uh, 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 games. This isn't hyperbole. This isn't, we're not playing games here. This is real, okay? This is an attack on God's, man, God's creation. In particular, you know, we all know about geoformation and all this stuff and, you know, harp, whatever. This is not new news. Why do you act like this is new? You got your jaw dropped. You know, pick the jaw, pick your jaw back up off the floor and, and think for a second. Be reasonable. Why? What, what, what is so unreasonable about them telling you telling you about themselves? What is so unreasonable about this? I can't believe this. Yeah, but he just said it. Well, I, I just don't. I can't. Well, then I'll tell you what, you just wait till you get thrown off the cliff then. And then when you're free falling from the sky, you know, off the you know, whatever, you're on the wrong, you're on the wrong cliff. That's the question. Why what the heck are you doing on the cliff? Get back up off of it. Right now, you still have an opportunity to do that. You can still do that. Well, how do I do that? You don't conform, Goofy. You don't put up with this. You don't put up with it. I'm playing along, getting along. This is, you know, this whole play, get al go along to, to, to uh, you know, get along to go along or whatever they're saying. All of that is, is this. The practice. Because turns out, practice makes better. And so... Practice makes better. So we get you to practice this whole situation. And it takes time to do that. Again, remember back in the 30s and then Darwinism, all this stuff? It takes time to, to put this into your head. So we practice this for a few years, put this in the school systems, everybody re great reset, immunities and vaccines and everybody get in line and, you know, we're bad and how would it, you know, all this stuff build back better. So it takes time. And then when the, the blowout, where we begin rolling it out, it's not, it's not as, as, it's not as uh, surprising or, or uncomfortable. Or at least until we start drooling your head open and, and playing with, with things and stuff. So these are recommended books by Bill Gates. And I want you to, um, you should go and buy them. You should go and give them their, you should go and give these authors your money and support to read their books. No, you wouldn't do that. Look, these people tell on themselves because they're cultic. They're wicked and, and, and demon, demon possessed and, and um, smiling about it too, aren't they? Um, and so... This is laughable for them. This is so funny. But who gets the last laugh and who's laughing louder than them? Does not the creator of the universe have a thundering voice? Okay. Who's laughing louder? All right. So let's uh, let, you know, these people still have, and believe it or not, you have, you have time to um, 
break up, break out of this. And I'll tell you exactly how you break out of this. You just wake up, first of all. This is like a drug addiction, okay? I'm counseling you, okay? You're addicted. You need you need help, and 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 helping you, you know, throwing throwing uh, medication drugs at your head uh, isn't going to help you. Just get you more addicted. So what do we do? Hey, it's going to be hard to peel yourself away from this this addiction to to uh, 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 worshiping these people, right? It's hard to break from this stuff because you've been you you you've been it's been ingrained in you, right? Well, it's not your fault necessarily that you've been wrapped around in this thing, and then grow, but you know what? We are all accountable for our nonsense. I'm telling you, you're kind of, so at some point you're without excuse. You listen, you heard the truth and you denied the truth. You were like, nah, you know, it was uncomfortable. It made you feel bad. You cried about it and you need to wake. Now you need to wake up. Okay. It's uncomfortable being shook. It's uncomfortable being shaken out of this. This isn't, the, what do what, you think? I cut this picture out. Folks, this is real. This is real. There ain't nothing fake about this. The only fake thing about this is the teeth in this guy's head and his smile. Okay? So let's move forward. And, 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 and we have to move forward. And I'm not talking about, you know, going forward, going forward uh, with, with, uh, with, with this kind of stuff. I'm talking about freedom. Breaking out of this thing. I'm talking about breaking out of this matrix. And it's going to require some work. It's going to make you sad. Turns out, even Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, like wisdom brings great sorrow. You know, hey, if you want to, if 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 you want to be happy and in this world and get along with all this stuff and in you know, whatever, then you're going to have to just move. You're going to have to go along with this until they cut your head off. But if you want real peace of mind in your soul, deep in your soul, despite the fear they bring upon you, you know. This, this, this attacking you. What's wrong with you? Why can't you do the great reset? What's wrong? How, you know, why is this so bad? You know, look at all the, all the suffering people. What's the matter with you? Hey, a suffering is a part of, 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 of the fall of man. Okay. And a suffering man isn't going to bring, it'd be the blind leading the blind. Okay. How does that work? It doesn't. If you're children of the light, you have no, do not let these people of the darkness lead you. What? It'd like taking it'd be like taking a a, a a mathematics course from a one year old. Hey, they, that that, that one year old can hardly speak, let alone put together sentences and 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 convince you of mathematics and and geometry and all this stuff. And you go, what what does ge- geometry and babies have to do exactly? What do these wicked souls and what do these wicked people uh, who are uh, uh, you know? pedophiles and and just gross gross people gross gross people what do they have to do with bringing goodness and righteousness into the world i'll tell you what they're going to do they want to make you like them okay that's all that that's all they can do okay that's all they can do and this hegelian you know dialect and all this stuff is so well, here we go Let's finish this video because it's nice to watch videos and and um, I hope that you're convinced that the Great Reset is good for you, right? Because right there in front of us is a great big blank page. Our chance to use our creativity to reimagine, to question what we influence, to reset the way we live. So pick up your pens, your mouse, your camera, write, play, perform, or whatever you do. Enjoying the Great Reset. No thanks. The problem that we have is not globalization. Um, the problem is a lack of global governance. Really, since when do governments? When since when did governments stop working with each other or trading with each other? Listen, it's a manufactured crisis. Okay. As long we're telling you that we're having, we're we you know we're telling you that there's a a, uh, a, a global governance problem, uh, even though there there isn't. Okay, people are suffering in the world because we stopped the tra- we stopped the food, we we started the fires, we started the riots, we supported the 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 uh, uh, the impeachment trial, the hoax. Listen, we did nine eleven. Okay, we did the Gulf of Tonka, we did this stuff. 
Okay, all in all in the in the hope that you would be convinced by what you see, as opposed to what's internally what's what's going on in your head and heart. This is a battle over your mind. This is why we are to take captive our minds. But who's in control here? Well, I tell you who wants to be in control of your mind. But this is to help us walk. Don't you care about the people? Don't you care about the people who have a hard time walking? Let me tell you, I have met plenty. You know, listen, Bible-believing Christians look at this frailty as a sort of thorn in their side to remind them of, of the grace and mercy and goodness of Christ, Jesus the promise of God of, of, of no pain and all this stuff, all of this stuff isn't fully realized until you're zapped out of here. By the way, you want to be, you want to live, you want to do this? You want to make this your heaven? This is your best life? You want this guy, the richest man on the planet, to put this in your head so that you can walk, so granny can walk again? You know, I would love nothing more than to, for all of this starvation and, and grief and this stuff to be done. But it is because of the lack of, of these items that, that are nece necessitate life on earth, right? That's what brings people to the Lord. Believe it or not, these uh, items are, re are reminders of our depravity. What then is if we should take them away? Then, then the reminder, the retainment of God in our hearts goes out the window, right? You only started praying because you were, had a near-death experience. What if we should take death away? You only fell on your face before the Lord because you went through that suffering. What if we should take that suffering away? Then it would be, the idea would be like, to, then God would become incoherent, unnecessary, um, and, 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 you know, they love nothing more than to, to do away with, with God. And you only need to go as far as looking at Richard Dawkins to understand that that that's what they would love to just to do, to just get rid of God. Why? Because they hate him. Okay. Listen, there ain't nothing, something, there ain't nothing. I'm not asking you to go get a degree to figure out what they, listen, they hate God, period. That's what, I don't know how else to tell you about this. They love abortion, murder, strife, pedophilia, and all this trash, and, and immunities, and all that you want to play with your body and body hacking. This is that's all this is. Get rid of God. Make man in man's image. Right? Except for this. Except for, you know, uh, the idea is man is gross. Man is nasty. And we need to do away with man, right? So history has shown that big government expands quickest in uh, the immediate aftermath of a crisis. Okay? This from Bob Barr, a real or manufactured, people do, big changes happen in the world when there's a crisis. Take this for example. Nineveh in the Bible was nearly destroyed. Oh my. But if it were not for Jonah, led by the Holy Spirit of God into that city to preach to these people, crisis is coming. A crisis is coming, right? I, we, God is going to destroy the city just as he did in Sodom and Gomorrah. And they were well aware what happened there? Fire, brimstone, what you what you thought there wasn't, people didn't talk back then? Well, as long as you think that you came from an ape and all this stuff and you, anybody had a convert and anybody, we didn't have language until later, then no, they didn't talk. But listen, news flew. Of course it would fly. Cities were burned. Fire from heaven came down. Of course we understand what happened there. Well, now, we don't know how it happened, but we know that it had happened. Meteorites and all this stuff, whatever you want to call it, something happened here. So, yeah, it's what the Nineveh did. They changed their, you know, so that was a real crisis. What happens then if it's manufactured? Manufactured, yeah, somebody on the earth comes and shows up and whatever, and there's a manufactured crisis. So what happens then? Oh, well, we can get you to do stuff. You know? We can, we can, we can move you along down the path of, of destruction. So... There's a something, there's a little saying in, in, in China, and John F. Kennedy says something about this as well, but there's a saying in China that uh, the word crisis, crisis, has two characters. One, danger, naturally, we understand what crisis is, and the other presents an opportunity. An opportunity. And so... The opportunity is that you should be uh, 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 
maneuvered to the the great reset and all the stuff so um let's move on uh to some weird strangeness going on besides the great reset right strange sounds in uh, around the world um these are some of the top five crazy things going on in the sky now i went ahead and ex- did an expose of the ufo phenomenon but what about this what is this what's your opinion on this take a listen These are real sounds, by the way. This is not a movie. How strange is that? No, it's not an animal. That's a big moose. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was loud. All right. Hang on, I've got to turn this off. Oh, I don't like this. So yeah, what are your thoughts on that? 
Check us out, Grace Rain Podcast. Um, you know, this is something that, I, uh, you know, I put these videos together. I produce these two videos, right? I'm telling you, the UFO situation is really something you should look into. Uh, but not, but, uh, you know, don't sit here and watch these videos where they're, I saw a blonde guys coming off the thing and they came and took me away and all this stuff. And then, you know, continue in this whole cycle of you're getting no answers. You get no answers from what this is. So I uh, encourage you to come and check out this. These two right here, they were just uploaded, literally. Okay. And so um, go and check those out. Those are the thumbnails. Go and find them. Um, it really is an amazing, amazing phenomenon, right? But, but uh, they're, they're, the truth is, is uh, ever before us. And so thank you. You're listening to the Grace Rain Podcast. My name's Gan. I'm glad you showed up. I'm glad you're into this kind of situation. You want to find out what's happening around the world. Hey, look, there's a lot of great sources out there. Grace Rain is just one of them. Uh, taking a look at life from a Christ-centered perspective. The things that are going on around us. Not so that we're afraid of those things, but that we know that the Lord is near and even, even at the door. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for liking or subscribing, whatever. Uh, and in the future, I hope to see you in, in the next upload, right? Take care.